Hello everyone and welcome to this Cherry Hearts tutorial. I'm Sandra and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these mini hexagons and these crochet flowers. And then I'll move on to show you how I am joining the flowers into a blanket. So this tutorial was inspired by my hexi flower crochet quilt that I'm making. I'm in the UK so I tend to use UK terms for my tutorials but I'll pop the US terms up on the screen as well for you if you're used to US terms and you can still follow along. So I'll make a slip knot to start and then I'm going to make four chains to begin. Here we are, chain four and then I'm going to make a loop to start by making a little slip stitch into that first chain. There we are, so I have a little tiny loop there to begin and I'm going to make four chains to start the round. So this will count as our first stitch later on but I'll come back to that. So we're going to work a series of UK trebles, uh, US doubles, into this beginning loop to make the first round. So I'll make two trebles to start. So one, two. So there's my two UK trebles. So that's exactly the same as a US double. If you're used to American terms, that will be a double. And I'm going to work two chains. So that's actually made one side and the chains make one corner of our hexagon. So I need to repeat that to make some more sides of our hexagon. So let me just show you again. So I'm going to make one triple, two trebles, and then two chains. So there I have one, two sides of my hexagon. So I need another three more. So I'll repeat that three more times. So two trebles, two chains. And US would be two doubles, two chains. And then one more time. There we are, we should have five sets of these two trebles now. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we're ready to complete the hexagon. So this chain at the beginning will start as one of our stitches, but we will need to do one more. So one more treble into the beginning there, into the loop at the beginning. And then we're going to join this to the starting chain and that will count as our beginning stitch. So I'm going to join it to the third chain here of that beginning four chain. So I'm going to make a slip stitch into that third chain. There we are, first round is complete, teeny tiny little round. So if you're having trouble working into this small little loop to start, you can always do five chains to start, uh, just to make the loop a little bit bigger. So to begin the second round, I'll slip stitch into the corner space. Now my little hexagons are only two rounds, so I'll show you how to do this second round. But if you'd like to make yours bigger, the third round, the fourth round, subsequent rounds will be worked in exactly the same way as we're going to do here. So we'll slip stitch into that corner, then we'll chain four, And then we'll work one treble into that same space and that's going to make our corner. So that's one US double. So the stitches are always UK trebles or US doubles. So it's quite simple. And then we'll make one stitch into each of the stitches below. So one into the first treble there. And a second into the next treble. Then, so that's working along the side. Then we'll work a corner. 
So to work a corner, we work one treble, one US double, two chains, and then a second UK treble. So each side and each corner is the same. So you just work into the treble stitches along the side, and then one treble, two chains, one treble into the corner. And that's the same all the way round, and for each round you would like to add afterwards, if you wish to add more rounds. So that's US doubles, so one double, a second double, one US double, two chains, one US double to make the corner. So I'll carry on working around the hexagon. So here we are at the beginning of the round again. I've worked my last corner and I now have my two stitches before I'm back to the beginning. So I need to work a stitch into each of the stitches below. So that's one into the first stitch, one into the second stitch. So that's actually the beginning chain of the last round, so a little trickier to get into, but you can just push it into that same chain, same place where you made your slip stitch. And then we're going to end the round in exactly the same way. We're going to make a slip stitch into the third chain of this starting four chain. So that's our mini tiny little hexagon. So for this first hexagon only, I will end there. I'll cut my yarn and I'll pull that through and that will be my first hexagon. But then for every other hexagon I make that I wish to join on to make a flower, I'm going to leave the yarn attached and I'm going to join it straight to the next hexagon. So I'll show you that next. I'll see you next time. Bye!